Good morning. I'm Dr. Manimir Bhatia, a senior neurologist and a sleep specialist from Delhi. Today I'm going to be talking about a very closely related topic that is sleep and depression. So how are they related? How do they impact each other? And what can we do to help the patients feel better? That's what the main theme is. So first of all, the symptoms between the two are pretty similar. So patients with depression start by saying that they feel tired, they are disinterested, there is lethargy, there is fatigue. And in fact, patients with sleep apnea also often have the same complaints, that they are tired, lethargic, disinterested, and feel like getting into bed the whole day. Patients with depression also feel very sleepy during the day. Patients with sleep apnea also feel very sleepy during the day. Thus, it becomes important to filter out or to identify that is this sleep apnea that we are dealing with or depression. So ask for questions like, are you snoring? Is the snoring very loud and disturbing? You wake up often with a feeling of choking. These are pointers that there could be a coexistent sleep apnea. Secondly, patients who are on treatment for depression during the course of the treatment they frequently gain weight and thus they become predisposed or get a tendency towards developing sleep apnea. So one should ask them during their course of illness that has snoring become louder, is lethargy becoming more. So thus these two conditions are what are called as bidirectional. The sleep apnea can have an impact on depression and depression can have an impact on sleep apnea. So thus I would say that in patients with depression, the occurrence of symptoms such as snoring, choking should be looked for and vice versa. In patients with sleep apnea, if treatment is going well, patient begins to feel lethargic, sleepy, tired, disinterested, do think that is their depression creeping in because we need to treat both to make the patients feel much better.